and uh, welcome to this uh, tutorial. I'm going to make a tutorial on a um, 4 bit decoder to a 7 segment display output. So I got a 4 bit here. Um, I got a 7 segment display right here. And I can put in the numbers pretty fast. Um, and also pretty compact. Um, I saw this in uh, Steven's video, um, but I didn't found a decent tutorial on it, so how to build it. It isn't that difficult to build, but so um, I'm going to make one. Um, the seven segment display I got from um, the Xbox Nut. I just um, changed it a little bit about the layout. Um, this just looks messy but um, I implement uh, Steven's way of connecting those which is much easier with um, the other way you had to take down here and put blocks on top and on that and stuff so this works too um, I've also added um, or made the redstone go up vertically instead of using the stairs kind of thing um, but yeah, then the decoder, this is all. Um, it looks a bit impressive, but as I told you, it's actually not. Um, you just got the 4-bit input on top, and then it, you get the 7-segment display output right here. So, I've labeled these. Um, so yeah, um, if you do it the other way, like um, the Xbox Nuts decoder, um, you need to make a binary to decimal, then uh, the decimal to 7 segment display decoder. So that that's a little bit more work and I think a little bit more space than this. So I prefer this one. So um, I'm going to sleep till daytime. There's my little creeper, I hope. So um, we can start. Um, I'm going to build it on the other side of this one because I planning to make a little machine computer CPU type of thing um, where I uh, have some inputs right here um, and then two displays the next display will come just just here so I'm going to put my bed over here so we can start building it um, I'm going to leave a little space between this something like this and then just um, let me count. Fourteen blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, fourteen, and then seven wide. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then just. Like this, so you got the outputs coming out of the ground on the ground. So, um, okay, this is a little bit boring, maybe, but I prefer doing the whole tutorial instead of just you can do this by making pictures also, but then um, with some instructions. So, lay down seven layers of 14 redstone, etc. But it isn't such. I think this is a, a, a better way. So next we pull the old fashioned repeaters. Also, seven of them. I do use Stephen's uh, 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 texture pack. Well, it's not Stephen's, but. 
It is um, Steve had adjusted the redstone um, torches, so. and then we just add more redstone from. Here. I'm gonna copy it from the other side. Two, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not really a talker, so I'll just bolt instead of um, talking. Okay, so this is all for the outputs. Then we're going to go to build the first layer of the decoder, this one. Um, so yeah, just place blocks on top of them. I think this is the most compact way of building a 7 segment deco. Um, as I said, you can use the Xbox nuts or um, if somebody else designed it, I don't know. Um, decimal to 7 segment display deco, but we got like on um, surface. It's like almost as long as this one, and here you can put just the um, the binary code in too instead of the Xbox hub. You need to have the uh, decimal input. So I think this is better. So we're going to do that on the other side of the repeaters too. Because this is my uh, map I use for redstone, um, I use infedit because I don't like to build this this big kind of kind of things on a regular map. We have to search for the uh, redstone etc. So um, I downloaded this flat grass map. It's called. Um, so next we lay the rows of this full of redstone, so just don't think that's too difficult. I have a uh, window next to me with the schedule of this, of this uh, decoder, so sometimes I'll have to look up to it. Especially when I'm placing the torches, like there, they have to be on a exact order, or else the decoder doesn't work. So, um, 